Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. The engine's igniting. The solid rocket boosters and liftoff. The white stork is in the air. HTV-5 heading towards the International Space Station. Again, the first stage firing those solid rocket boosters will continue to burn for just under two minutes. Along with the central uh, portion, the first stage providing the initial thrust for the vehicle. After liftoff, the launch vehicle operation control was shifted from the blockhouse to the range control center. Just about one minute uh, into liftoff, uh, the solid rocket boosters about halfway through their life. Again, they'll separate in two stages, uh, the first pair jettisoning, and then a few seconds later, the second pair will pop off. The first stage uh, will continue to fire uh, for just under six minutes. The HTB is flying normally and the Tanegashima space stations are tracking the launch vehicle very well. Getting reports of good first stage performance. The solid rocket boosters should be burning for just under 10 seconds longer. SRBA, Nation Shuriel. SRBA Burnout. SRBA, Daichi Pea Bundi, Daini Pea Bundi. And there you see the first and second pairs of uh, the solid rocket boosters being jettisoned. The first stage continuing to burn. Uh, the next major milestone will be the fairing jettison at about 3 minutes 40 seconds into flight, so just a little over a minute and 10 seconds from now. That fairing, of course, uh, protecting the HTV vehicle during the dynamic stages of this initial ascent. And just about three minutes since liftoff. It's three minutes after liftoff. The Again, in just about 10 seconds or so, we will be standing by to hear that fairing jettison. The control and the flight trajectory are all normal. The flight goes very smoothly. Current altitude is about 100 kilometers. Velocity is approximately 2.1 kilometers per second. Payload fairing jettison. And confirmation that payload fairing has been jettisoned. Uh, the first stage is going to burn for uh, about a minute and 45 seconds longer. That cutoff coming at 5 minutes 47 seconds into flight. Once the first stage has done its job a few seconds later, uh, the it will separate. Then the second stage will ignite just a few seconds after that. Continue the climb into orbit, putting HTV-5 into its uh, initial orbit and uh, on its way to the International Space Station. But for now, everything continuing to go well. The on-time launch, the first stage continuing to function uh, as planned. Just about one more minute uh, in its lifetime. Uh, everything continuing to go well.
ち上げ後5分が経過しました It's five minutes of the lift off. So passing that five minute mark, just about 40 seconds longer in the、uh, performance of the first stage. The flight goes very smoothly. Current altitude is about 160 kilometers. Velocity is approximately 4.2 kilometers per second. One hundred and sixty kilometers roughly in altitude that translates to about ninety nine miles. So expecting first stage shutdown. First stage engine cut off. There we have it. Next up will be that separation of the first and second stages. First and second stage is separation. And just about 10 seconds after that separation, the second stage igniting, stage continuing the climb into orbit. So, again, at this point, the second stage is going to fire for roughly eight minutes. That、uh, second stage cutoff coming at about 14 minutes and 20 seconds post liftoff. The Guam station has started trucking. And then, once the,、uh, the second stage cuts off, it'll、uh, be. Uh, about 40 to 50 seconds before HTV itself separates from the second stage, and then the vehicle will be in its preliminary orbit and on its way to the International Space Station. Coming up on eight minutes since launch. It's eight minutes after liftoff. The engine is in the same way. 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 Current altitude is approximately 250 km. Velocity is about 5.6 km per second. HTV already about 160 statute miles、uh, in altitude. The second stage continuing to perform well just about nine minutes、uh, since liftoff. Should have about five minutes more of this、uh, second stage performance. Second stage burning liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen, just like the first stage,、uh, to continue sending HTV into its preliminary orbit. The flight goes very smoothly. And we're just about 10 minutes since liftoff. 
Uh, the first stage already done its job. The second stage continuing to fire has about four minutes and 20 seconds left of powered flight, after which uh, it'll be time for the HTV to separate from the H2B rocket and uh, continue on its way towards the station. The flight is progressing smoothly. The launch vehicle is out of the tracking range of the Tanegashima and Uchinora stations, and the Ogasawa and Guam stations are tracking it. The Ogasawara station finished tracking and the Guam station is now tracking the launch vehicle. So it's been over 12 and a half minutes since the successful liftoff from the Yoshinobu launch complex in Tanegashima. The HTV continuing to fly straight and true. Just uh, under two minutes now uh, of powered flight left for this second stage. Once that uh, engine cutoff occurs, we'll be standing by to get confirmation uh, that HTV-5 has separated from the second stage successfully. And then, of course, we'll be uh, able to bring you some uh, quick replays of that launch uh, and all the other uh, dynamic events in the initial climb to orbit. But for now, everything continuing to go well for this vehicle, currently slated to arrive at the station next Monday. Light goes very smoothly. Second stage engine cut off. And the second stage engine has cut off. And it takes uh, just under a minute now for that separation to occur and be confirmed. So that'll be uh, the next major milestone we're standing by for. Everything ticking off per the plan so far in this flight.